guys and welcome to another episode of computer craft and today I'm going to teach you on how to password protect your folder or lock it now for this you will not need to install anything yes I said you don't have to install any additional software so this will work with all versions of Windows um, I guess maybe um, I guess I can definitely say it works with Windows 7 and Windows 8 and Windows 8.1 because I have tested it. Um, and another thing, um, um, hats off to Microsoft for doing this um, as they put all the hard work into it. So now with no further ado, let's begin locking our folder. So as you can see I've just made like a really random folder over here named cool because I couldn't think of anything else. So let's just open it. And as you can see, um, the folder is not password protected. I can do anything inside it. So, without any additional software, how am I actually going to make this folder, which is called cool, into a password protected folder? Well, it's really simple and just follow my steps. First, we'll just open it and right click and select new. And you should see text document. Now, we, the, the next step you have to do now is to just right click, uh, well left click, anywhere else on the screen, well inside here so that it doesn't really highlight it. Now next, just open the text document and um, but, and copy this code in. Oh yes, it does look pretty massive and scary, however, do not be scared because I'm here. Um, basically, you don't really need to know any of this code, it's just really rubbish. You just need to change one thing. So um, I'll have the link in the description of the code. Um, it will take you to his website. Just copy and paste it. So just quickly right click and copy or just control C. Um, and go into your notepad. I can just do that. Um, and um, paste it there or control V. And as you can see, um, the reason why I have did, did it in a different font is to show you guys that it doesn't matter whatever font you're using. It just matters about the code. Now over here, um, um, you would see this sort of um, this line called password goes here. Oops. Um, there you go. I'm gonna try to highlight it. There. You go. Password goes here. Now what you wanna do is quickly just backspace that, and you can put whatever password you want. So what I'm gonna put is um, cool, because I can't think of anything else. There we go. Yep. There you go. So now that I've named it cool. Now click on file, and it save as. Do not click anything else other than save as, as this will mess the whole thing up. Let's click save as. Now what you have to name it is this, locker.bat. It has to be named as you can't name it cool.bat or locker.cool. The bat is the file extension which is, it's a bat file, um, a flying bat sort of thing. No, it's not that. This is um, a Windows batch batch file. Yeah, there we go. And you have to name it locker.bat. Another thing, do not put it as text document. Just click on there and select all files. I repeat, select, click on this and select all files. And now, uh, as you can see, there's a bit encoding. Don't change any of that. And click save. And now you can just exit out this. Now you would see this. Um, it's called locker. It's called Windows Batch File. Just go ahead and open it. Now, the first time you open it, it will not ask for a password, and it'll straight away open your private folder inside of this folder. However, the second time you click on it, it will say this: Are you sure you want to open? You, I mean, you want to lock the folder. If I click no, or we'll just N and enter. Next time I open Locker. It would just ask me again, do you want to lock it? Well, of course, we want a password protector, so we're going to click Y and enter. Enter. Now the folder is locked. As you can see, the private folder disappeared. So now, th this time when we open it, we get this. Enter password to unlock folder. And now you just enter whatever password you made. Well, I just had cool, which is highly unsafe, because that's the folder's name. And then you just click enter, and it will say granted permission and it will give you access to this private folder I don't think so you can rename this private folder let's try to rename it first of all I just want to show you guys before I just try to mess up by renaming um, there we go um, oh, by the way uh, I just noticed this so I must imagine I just log into the folder so cool um, 
if you've done this, um, yeah, you open your private folder and stuff. If you exit out of this, that'd be cool again. You can see that private folder is still granted permission. Now, this is because the locker works as a two way locker, like, it's like a real locker. So, imagine you open a locker door, um, you just keep it like that, it's gonna be open, it's not gonna shut automatically. This is maybe like a sort of fault, or you may consider it that it should automatically lock if you're exiting out of it. I'm sorry, but it doesn't work this way because you're not really downloading any extras or files and stuff. So what you have to do each time after you finish viewing your files or something, just go back into locker and you come with this. Do you want to lock the folder? And hit yes, because I want to. Now the folder is locked. The private folder just disappears. If I close it and open it again this time. Um. The, uh, the private folder is not visible. So, okay, um, I, okay I'll show you that uh, enter password. Um, if I put a wrong password, so something like this, it will say invalid password and just disappear as you just saw. So, you will need the correct password. There's no way of getting around it. And if you forget the password, well, you're screwed. There's always a other way around because this is Windows. Yeah. So, anyway, now that we have private and you can pretty much do anything in this folder, you can drag and drop item let's just copy all these minecraft songs, so like, for example that it works like this you just paste it there now let's go back to pry, ooh, cool, cool locker and just quickly lock it there we go now just X out of it, cool uh, locker, um, password in ooh. and uh, it reveals the private folder again and you can see it's still there, uh, I don't want it there there we go, I just delete. So what we're gonna try to do, I've not actually tried this before, but we're gonna rename the private folder. Let's name it um even cooler, because that is quite cool. There we go, we've named the private folder even cooler, and let's try to lock it. Oh, there we go. So it thinks that I'm just making next extra folder inside cool. And there we go. So it has to be named private. I'm sorry guys, you can't name it whatever you want. You will have to name it cool. Tough. So, um, by the way, you can delete this text document. It's just useless. Um, there you go. Yeah. Enter password. There you go. It works. So, there you go. So, if this video helped you, um, don't forget to slap that like button and leave a subscribe for me. So, thank you for watching and bye.